Let's set up Streamlabs dual output so that you can multi-stream for free in both landscape and vertical mode at the same time. And you want to start on streamlabs.com, just download Streamlabs desktop, run through the installer. If you're not logged in, just click the person icon in the bottom left to log in. I suggest you log in with your landscape stream, such as Twitch or YouTube. And let's start by getting our stream to look like this, and then we'll look at how to stream on all the different platforms. Of course, firstly, we need to get Streamlabs dual output showing. So let's click on the settings icon in the bottom left corner. Let's click on to video and make sure you have enable dual output checked. For horizontal, these are good settings. For vertical, I'm going to change the output scale resolution to 1080x 1920. Then these are also good settings. We'll come back to more settings later. For now, just press done. And under the sources, let's now add our display, our camera and some alerts. I'll click the plus button. I'll click onto display capture. I'll click add source. You can rename this if you want. Click on add source again. From the drop down list, find the correct display. Make sure you capture the cursor and press done. Now, under these sources, if I hover over it here, you can see we have this horizontal and vertical option. So I could click on it to hide it if I wanted to. But in actual fact, I'm just going to click on it once which means I can now drag the corners to resize it in both horizontal and more importantly, I can resize it in vertical. So what I'm going to do, you saw at the start, I'm just going to have my camera at the top and the middle of my screen at the bottom. So I've just dragged up to resize it. And once you're happy with its positioning, just hover over and find this lock icon, which locks it into place on both canvases. Now let's click the plus button again and add a video capture device. Rename it if you want, click on add source. I'll add my lower quality second camera. What you'll have to do is underneath resolution, change it to custom, then make sure it's 1920 by 1080 or higher if you have it. That puts it in 1080p or 4K if you have it. Underneath FPS, 30 or 60. The other options should be fine, so press close. Of course, we have to click on it again to resize it and I have to resize it in both places. So in the horizontal output, I'll drag it down. I'm also going to hold the Alt button and drag these squares to crop. So if you need to crop, hold Alt and drag the squares. And I want to center it perfectly halfway down. So I'm going to right click transform and center it vertically. Now you can see that's actually centered it vertically in both places. I don't want it centered vertically on the vertical output. So I'm just going to drag it back up in the corner and I will drag it down so it fits something like that. And once you're happy with your camera's position, once again, lock it in place i've now got a basic stream but let's add some alerts as well so click on the alert box once you press the plus button rename it if you want add source you can click on each of these to modify it you can also modify it on streamlabs.com dashboard once you're happy with the way your alerts look click close and once again we can click on the alert box and reposition it if we want i'm happy with the horizontal position but i'm going to place mine perfectly in the center and to do that transform and center on the screen and once again it's actually changed it in horizontal so i'm going to drag it back up a bit and once you're happy lock the source now we're set up in horizontal and vertical we need to add in our different live streaming platforms and we also need some audio so click the settings cog and we'll start on audio underneath desktop audio make sure you add your headphones or speakers so that's my cloud 2 wireless underneath mic make sure you add the correct microphone that's my quadcast i'll click into output and although output is set to 6000 it's going to use more than 6000 because it's actually going to stream in both horizontal and vertical so it's streaming twice so i would say if you're going to use 6k bit rate and try not to go beneath but if you are going to use it you need to have at least 15 meg of upload speed and now let's click on to stream so you can connect one horizontal and one vertical output stream for free if you want to multi-stream to even more you can use my streamlabs ultra affiliate link to multi-stream to up to seven or eight different platforms and my affiliate link will give you nine dollars off the first month it's on screen and in the description so for me i'm going to stream to instagram in vertical mode and to youtube in horizontal mode i've already got youtube linked instagram's a little bit quirky but i'll click connect and the instagram stream key changes every time so we have to get it from instagram i'll put my instagram stream key guide in the description so if you can't see it check it out but I'll click create, I'll choose live video. I'm just gonna go test for me and I'm gonna go practice, but you should go public. I'll press next and in a few seconds, my Instagram stream key will appear. So I need to copy the stream URL into the settings box here. Then we need to go back to Instagram and copy the stream key as well into this box. Once you've connected all of your desired horizontal and vertical live streams, press done. You're not live yet, don't worry. Now just behind me is the go live button. We can press this. 
and you can see it's already chosen YouTube for my horizontal. I have to click add destination and I'm gonna choose Instagram and it's automatically chosen vertical, but if you haven't automatically chosen it, click onto it. Again, a reminder, you can use my affiliate link if you want to multi-stream to more than two platforms to get $9 off Streamlabs Ultra. At this stage, I recommend you show the advanced settings because I highly recommend a thumbnail or else your YouTube stream won't perform well. Study thumbnails that work well. Of course, make sure you have a good title and the rest of these YouTube settings are fine. Once again, the Instagram stream key is changing every time, so make sure you get a new one each time. Once you're ready to start streaming, hit confirm and go live. But for Instagram, once you're live, you'll also have to hit this go live button, which you can see in the top right corner of the Instagram settings as well. And you'll have to end your Instagram stream here and inside Streamlabs as well. That's just the way Instagram is. It's quite new when it comes to live streaming. And also once you're live, it should pop up your YouTube chat inside Streamlabs.